I'm here today with the High Boy EX6 step through e bike. For those of you that don't know what an e-bike is, an e-bike has a motor. So you can ride the bike without any assistance from the motor, or you can use varying degrees of assistance. For instance, this bike has five speeds. If you were to set it at zero, you would be powering the bike all on your own. Now this bike weighs about 75 pounds, so you would be powering that by yourself if you were using no assistance. If you start to use the lower levels, one and two, you're going to be pedaling and the motor is going to be kicking in a little bit to help you. Now, if you use the highest levels, four and five, the motor is going to be assisting you quite a bit and you're gonna be able to go faster. You're just using the throttle um, to power the bike. You're gonna be able to go 41 miles approximately. Now that's for somebody who's 165 pounds. If you are also helping by pedaling and you're just using some assistance, that should take you about 70 miles. The bike has a decently padded uh, bike seat, so that should be pretty comfortable. And then it also has this bike rack on it, so you could put a little um, pack on there and then you can carry some things with you when you're riding. One thing to note about this bike is you have to have the key in it to be able to power it on, which is kind of a nice feature in a way because when you go somewhere and you get off of your bike, you just turn the key off and then you take it with you. So somebody else wouldn't be able to come along and just turn the bike on and leave with it. It has a headlight and the little headlight button is right here and it also has a fairly loud horn and that's going to be able to let people know that you're coming up behind them. It also has a rear light, so it has a tail light. The nice thing about this bike is that it is a step through, so if you're somebody who has a little bit of trouble getting your leg up and over a bike, this one is really nice because you just have to step through. Now when you're getting off of the bike, same thing goes. You're going to be able to just put your feet down and uh, you, can, you can reach the ground no problem at all. This e-bike has a 15 amp hour lithium ion battery. It is removable so you could charge it either while it's on the bike or you can remove it and charge it. it takes about seven to eight hours to charge the battery. Now there's a display on the battery so you know whether it's full or not. And then there's also um, on the display, it will show you how full your battery is. We do have a Shimano seven gear transmission here. So you have seven different gears. There's a lever here to be able to change the gears. And then the handlebars are flat. They're grippy. So I don't necessarily like that because if you're leaning on that or you're riding for a long time, that kind of digs into your hands. But at the same time, it is nice because your hands aren't going to slide off of those handlebars. The throttle is up here on the right side. This bike has big fat tires, so they are 20 by 4 inches, and that allows you to go in some rougher terrain. And it does have uh, suspension or shocks um, front, and that's it. Just, just on the front, they are non-adjustable. The bike capacity is 300 pounds, and the manufacturer does say that the height should be about five foot five and above. I think having the step through though makes it easier. Maybe if you're a little bit shorter, you could still ride this bike. Your brakes are dual brakes, but they are not hydraulic. They are dual disc brakes. The handlebars are adjustable. What I didn't necessarily like about this bike is the fact that you're more upright. So for me, I'm used to being on a bike and leaning down and you know, it's a bit sportier. This bike is more of an upright ride, which I think would really work well for some people. So it's something that you would just want to maybe test out. A cool feature of this bike is that it has fenders. So it has fenders on the back and the front tires. So that's gonna prevent all the dirt and rocks and things from flying up at you. The bike came packaged very nicely. Weight of the package was 85 pounds. 
and it was fairly easy to assemble. The instructions weren't quite as robust as we've seen with other bikes, but we did manage to get it all together. So if you're looking for a step through bike, this High Boy EX6 is a pretty good find. It has the big fat tires, which I really like. Um, I don't necessarily like it being so upright. I love that it has the throttle on the handlebars and it has the front and the rear light. And it's just, you know, it's easier because all you have to do is step through it. So the price point is pretty good. I think it's a pretty good find. All right, today we are leaving and we're at a place right now where we're dry camping. So we do have access to water, even though we're not hooked up. We have access to water. We have access to trash and uh, what else? That's, oh, we are plugged in, even though we have solar, we were plugged into, uh, what are we, what are we taking, like 10 like amps or? Five amps. amps. Yeah, something like trickle. that. Just a trickle. So now we so have the, to. So the whole setup for dry camping, we're sort of dry camping. We're sort of dry so camping. So very sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but we're on our way out to go boondocking, which we're excited about, but that means a lot of preparation. So that's what we're doing today. First thing we're doing is filling water. We're not filling the bladder. We only use the bladder when we run into town and it can stay in the back of the truck for a while to siphon off of. But today we'll be using the water jugs because um, we need to empty them and then refill them so we can bring extra water with us. Okay, let's go get it done. Hey, let's go get it done. <laughs> what? Oh, our music gear is still in there? Yep, we didn't unload. We don't normally do this. <laughs> this isn't normal, we just forgot to unload our music gear from the last show. Probably be easier to drive back and unload it, but... But we're not going to. We're not going to. It's too easy. They start to go bad. They always break right here, the mm. seams. So I put a little uh, flex tape on and then about every six months I buy a couple more and throw the old ones away that have holes in them and are damaged. Because otherwise people are behind us in their cars and they see water leaking and they run up and knock on our window and say, hey, you're leaking something. And they're nice enough to let us know. So now what I do is I grab my pump. Now some people say just use the this uh, Nautilus system on the Grand Design has a, a system where you can suck straight out of buckets. I've never found it to work that well. Plus I don't like to wear on the pump in the rig. I'd rather use an auxiliary pump so less wear and tear on the one in the rig where I'd have to tear it out and replace it. I use the auxiliary one, let the wear and tear go on that one. And if that one burns, then I just go buy a new one. There's no moving things around. So I have this pump, my friend Scott helped me rig it, put the ends on and then I use this to dip into the buckets, have the end clipped off again on this hose and then I just run it into the, into the rig and I don't need to uh, use the pump in the rig. So it just sucks out of the jugs and it goes into the camper and you can hear it going in and then I watch the siphoning under here, the overflow hose because you want to grab it and shut it off right when it starts to trickle, otherwise it starts to siphon. And you'll lose, you know, a gallon or two of water and you don't want to do that, you want to hold on to your water. So I know about, it'll be about 15 minutes before that thing starts to spill out. So we'll let you know when it's done. So our new friends, Jim and Michelle, came into town and uh, we got together yesterday for at the brewery. I don't know why I'm standing way over here. I'm their way <laughs> over here. So say hi. Hi. Right. 14 million viewers will be watching this <laughs> at some point over the, the span of my lifetime <laughs> maybe yeah if i'd have known that i got more nervous maybe fix my hair and everything. Wow. i fixed beard. i fixed my hair oh, okay yeah we're good all right well i see our sticker on the back so that's a good thing stickers on the back honey of their rig right. that we gave them same direction? Nope. Opposite.
opposite direction? Yep. While Dave's out filling water, I'm just putting our music gear back underneath the bed, some of it. So there isn't a lot of storage in RVs and for us we have so much music gear that that takes up a lot of space. And so everything has its own little spot. It's kind of a pain, but this is what we do. We have to have gear, we have to have our music equipment. It's just the way it is. So we have lights and then um, lighting equipment for doing videos inside of the rig. <laughs>